All right, so the first improvement in the new house. Um, you can see here, this is our backyard, and uh, we've got a pretty nice deck that uh, opens up. Two, bath two bedrooms upstairs have sliding doors to the deck. Um, under the deck is kind of wasted space. I guess you could uh, sit down here in the summertime, but uh, here, what you can see, it's, it's a covered patio, but it's not waterproof or weatherproof. Um, I guess in the summertime it wouldn't be bad for sitting down here, um, but you know it's going to leak snow and rain and cold during the winter time. So here in Colorado, you know, winter is the bigger problem than than summer. So what I'm planning to do is actually the first step. I'm, I'm going to weather, you know, in general, I'm going to kind of weatherproof or winterproof this patio. Uh, I bought uh, I think six sheets of this stuff here. It's called multi wall polycarbonate. You know, usually when you see people make, um, you know, do kind of DIY roofs for decks that they'll get that horrible, uh, corrugated plastic. Uh, this stuff here, it has a, it has a plastic layer covering it, but it's, uh, you know, semi-transparent and, uh, what it is, if you look on the end, it's actually, uh, not sealed on the ends, but it's sealed in the middle. Um, so if I was to basically mount this stuff, to the roof, um, it would not only um, waterproof the waterproof the roof, and it would also add some insulation for cold. So it's it's the first step. Okay. So in addition to this, so the idea here is is in some form or fashion to mount this uh, multi wall polycarbonate, which is usually used for a greenhouse covering. Uh, to the underside of this of this roof here, uh, well, you know one problem. This material is usually mounted um, from above, so you know the screws that you buy, you buy special screws for it. And this is um, basically they're they're wood screws with little uh, washers on the end, something kind of like this. So you would uh, screw it down from the top, and then it would sort of form a, a air and watertight seal. Um, in this case, I actually am going to be mounting, undermounting them. So I'll have to use these screws, but on the on the top side. So basically, I'll have the um, the polycarbonate will be sandwiched in between two washers here. Um, you now the biggest challenge. I'm not sure I'm going to work this out. You um, you can make it kind of airtight, but you want it needs the water needs to drain off of there. So I'm going to have to have some method of kind of uh, raising. Oh, so I probably I may mount two or three washers on the underside like this to kind of give it a little bit of uh, air space in between the um, the roof joists here and the, the polycarbonate, which will allow water to drain off the end of it. But we'll see. Now I may I may change my mind on that. You know, so the the list the building list here. In addition to the multi wall, you get the screws, um, wash you know, rubber washers. And I've also got this material here. You can see this basically idea here is um, you would fit. Uh, this is kind of to kind of fix the seams between the, the two sheets. You would basically mount, um, kind of lock each sheet in side by side. And this guy here is the is sort of an end cap. So you to make it maximally insulative, you want it to be. Uh, you would put the end of it in here so it would be more or less airtight on the end. So anyway, that's the first uh, the first step. Obviously, that's just the ceiling part. I would have to then, um, you know, mount something on the walls to keep the weather out. But I uh, just want to give you a quick update, and I'll get moving on this project and update you as I go. Thanks.